So this is our first full day exploring Bucharest. Um, we're currently sat here, just had a quick bite to eat. We're currently sat um, outside the main fountains that you see on approach to the uh, Palace um, of Parliament. And it's a really nice area actually with uh, more fountains than I expected, but uh, apparently at night um, there's actually a fountain show similar to what you see in places like Vegas, Dubai, those kind of places. So. It'll be quite interesting to see what that one's like here in, uh, in Bucharest. So when I was on the taxi to, to get here from the airport, the taxi driver said to me, if you want to visit the parliament, you have to join a tour and you're actually being escorted by a policeman. So I don't think you could just go there and visit it. You've got to actually join a tour and then you'll be able to do it. I don't know if you've seen the last season of Stranger Things, but this clock makes me think of it. We're just walking through the park, and I don't know if you can hear just over there, there's some sort of festival going on at the moment. We've tried to find some sort of entrance uh, to see if we could get some tickets or anything like that, or even just to see what festival it was, but uh, we're not having much luck so far. So we just found a little bit more information about it now. It's some festival called Nostalgia. Uh, which is mainly from what I've read about bringing friends together, having a great time. Uh, so we've had a look, it looks like a majority of tickets are sold out for it, but there's some still available tomorrow. So we're thinking later on we're going to have a look uh, a little bit more on the website, see if we can purchase some tickets and head there tomorrow night. So we just stopped for a drink and um, a cake at this vegan place called Sublime. Now we're going to the National Historical Museum. So we thought they only did, did cakes and uh, drinks, but you can actually get burgers and this type of food. So I think we'll go back because I really fancy a Beyond Burger. So we've just come out of the museum but the one that we actually wanted to go and see was the natural museum and uh, so we basically come to the wrong one <laughs> and the other one is quite a bit of a walk away now so it looks like we're not going to be able to do that one today um, what did you think of that one but it wasn't what i expected so i don't know learn a few things yeah
So we're in Bran at the minute visiting Dracula's castle. Uh, we've got our tickets now ready to go inside. I'm not sure what to expect when going in, but really looking forward to it. So it costs nine euros each for a skip the line ticket so we can get in straight away. Our first stop on the tour to Transylvania was to the medieval Bran Castle, popularly known as Dracula's Castle. Many tourists visit each year and the day we visited was extremely busy. Although a little cramped inside, we did enjoy the outside which featured a lot of market stalls and grassy areas. been around the castle now we had a tour guide with us as well um, helping us explain what um, you know the part of the castle that we we visited but here it is the site that I've wanted to see when we booked it beautiful so now we're gonna head to the market that is just outside of the castle grab a quick bite to eat then we're gonna get back on the bus and go to our next destination Apple pie and uh, pretzel with jam. I think it was only nine. Uh, how do you call it? Lay, lay all together. This apple pie is really nice, but I really didn't expect um, the castle to have like a village outside with uh, market stalls and things like that. That's really surprised me. But again, it's one of the great things about uh, exploring different places and coming to see different things is uh, you get surprised by that. For the second stop we visited the medieval Romanian city of Brasov, which even had a sign up in the hills similar to the Hollywood sign seen in Los Angeles. Brasov was very charming and we even sampled some local dishes. Just had a bite to eat and it's literally just started pouring it down. I mean we don't really want to move do we until we get wet but yeah. <laughs>
Our final stop on our way back to Bucharest, albeit not in Transylvania, was the Peles Castle, which, in our opinion, was much grander and full of incredible detail. We were amazed. The surroundings were breathtaking, being able to look out to the mountains with clouds appearing on top. It is a must visit if in the area. So now we're at the Pelas Castle, we've just had our guided visits. It's the third step of our tour, so we've been inside for about, uh, I would say, 25 minutes. And uh, we had the chance to go outside as well. Um, it's been raining a lot before, so it's actually really nice to see. You've got the mountain and the clouds, so it's got this really, like, a fair, fairy uh, atmosphere. Um, so this is the last stop, we're gonna have um, a hot chocolate before we head back and then we'll get back to Bucharest. If you watched our previous video in Bratislava, you would have seen that we went to a water park north of the city in Senec and our unfortunate experience with the uh, Naked Spa. But today we're going to a place called Therm Bucharest, which is Europe's largest wellness center. According to the details here, it's got uh, a lot of different things from mineral pools, water slides, saunas, indoor botanical gardens. It's uh, it's like a large complex, basically, that's just full of different things where you can relax or have fun at the same time. So I'm going to order a Bolt now and uh, go and see it. So yeah, just looking at Bolt now, um, there's one four minutes away and 69 Lee, which is about 12 pound, which is not bad considering it's all the way up near the airport, so it'll be about a 20 minute journey by the sounds of it, so not bad. Let's order it. So we just arrived at the maybe how long? 30 minutes? Just under 30, yeah. Yeah, so we're here. How is it? swim haven't we we've swam in the outdoor area where there's a few bars as well that people can relax we've tried the infrared yeah lamp lamp supposedly plenty of health benefits with that for 10 mm -hmm. minutes then we've tried the massage bed which felt like a water bed but had like little massage things giving you different a, settings as well and different settings no, it was it was interesting and then yeah, we're having a walk around. We're going to try the water park a little bit later when it's a little bit quiet. Yeah. But now we're just going to further explore. There's a few saunas and things that we can mm -hmm. look at and it's a really cool place to be honest. Yeah, we had some food as well. There's oh, yeah, a, we some food, yeah, yeah. a Thai restaurant upstairs, so we had some food and yeah, now we're just going to enjoy the rest of the, um, the place. Yeah, no, it's a cool place considering it's so close to Bucharest as well that you can just come here and escape the city it's really uh, it's great it is it's really great
So we're here at the Dimitri Gusti National Village Museum here in Bucharest. It's basically showcasing traditional Romanian village life. So it costs 20 lei per adult to access this village, so let's go and have a look around. Look how small the door is. I don't even fit in. <laughs> Come on, I've booked us in here for the night. Looks like there's no rooms left available. Yeah, I think it might be 35 degrees, but it's very interesting to see, you know, how people used to leave the old church and, you know, seeing everything through different centuries. So we just left the village museum. We're next to the like a restaurant. I don't know how you say that, but um, we've seen that there are some small boats there. So we'll see if we can get one and uh, go on the lake. So we just finished our food now. So we're going to go down to the water to see if we can get on a boat. Uh, we're not sure if it'll be cash or car, but we only have card on us at the minute. So we're just going to have to see uh, see what we can do. So we've just had a check, it is cash only, we don't have any on us um, at this point, so we're going to give that a miss. We're going to have a look at the Japanese Botanical Garden now, um, which is just down here. So what we like about this party, it really feels like you're not in the city anymore. You've got people walking their dog, people having a picnic, People having a run, people just enjoying the sun, you know, it's really nice. And this is how we felt yesterday when we went to that Them Bucharesti. Um, so I think it's a great thing. This is funny because this way you've got the Michael Jackson Memorial and then you've got the uh, Arc de Triomphe and now we're going to the Japanese garden so it's like all these different things all together and you can even climb in trees. It looks like there's usually some water in here but I'm guessing because of the weather and it being summer there's, there's not any at the minute but I bet it would look rather nice if it was full if I'm not wrong all these trees here are cherry blossom because I've seen pictures around spring and there's a lot of uh, well pink flowers so I'm wondering if it's them or not
got on a bolt. Um, now we're at the Natural History Museum, so we're going to look inside now and see what it's like. We just left the museum, um, it was quite big. There were three different floors and we saw two different exhibitions. Uh, it was a really good place. I mean, I guess for families and kids especially, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you could spend two hours in there because um, there was a lot of things to see. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, we're tired now. So we're gonna grab a drink and then we'll see if we can get a bolt and then head back to the flat because uh, we've been walking a lot today. But it's been a good day. 